What is up YouTube? Today I, what is up YouTube? Today I wanted to talk about the main reason you're not losing fat and achieving the body of your dreams. And you'll notice in my videos there's kind of a common theme is that I repeat a lot of the same things because it's very simple to get in shape. It's so it's unbelievably simple, but it's not the easiest thing to do. It's not the most fun thing to do. You can make it fun by doing different things, but it's not as fun as going to Dairy Queen across the street from the gym and getting a blizzard after your workout. It's not as fun as getting Taco Bell every night. It's not as fun as going out to a fancy Italian restaurant every week. It's literally, it's just changing your diet and changing the way you eat food and the way you see food. The mindset you have to develop with food is... You're putting it into your body. Like literally, this is your energy source for the rest of your day and for the rest of your life. These are the foods that are fueling your days and your life. And if you're putting crappy food, crappy processed fatty foods into your body, you're going to run like a not very well-oiled machine because you're giving your body all this junk. You're slowing it down with all this cholesterol and fatty foods and sodium and all these things are good in moderation, but moderation is probably like a few times a week or like one to two times a week, not every single day. So the main reason you can't lose fat and get the body of your dreams is your fucking diet. So what, what do you need to do? What do you need to do to change this? Well, I'd start with just replacing one of your meals every day with a high volume food such as salad, chicken, like something very filling. Salad, chicken, uh, hell, you can look up anabolic foods on YouTube and find so many cool foods that are really good for you. I'm not really good for you, but like they'll help you lose fat and gain muscle and just give you overall better physique and feeling by eating them. And they taste amazing. You could do that. You could eat more fruits and vegetables. Fruits are so good. You could just eat a ton of those. You can eat any meat you basically want. Just try to stay away from like the super fatty meats. And on that note, something that will help you in the fat loss journey is activity. You have to be active for at least like an hour or two a day. And it's really not that hard. You, you might say, I really don't have time. Like I, I can't really do this. Everybody has time. You're not working all day every day. Like, let's just be real. You're probably not. Uh, if you're in school, be active in your PE class. Join a club. Join a sport, whatever. Start doing that every every other day or whatever. Or start going on a morning run for 20 minutes every morning. And I think that would even be good is 20 minutes every morning of running. And then you'll be set for the activity. Try to hit 10,000 steps on your little phone pace pace thing. Like just It's just small actions. You have to keep on doing these things to where they add up and compound. And then one day you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I have abs. I have the bicep vein. I have the shoulder veins. Like my face is slimmer. Like I feel good. And that's what you'll wake up with. I'm so, I really hope some of you guys take this advice of just eating high volume foods being a little bit more conscious of your day-to-day -day activities and like sitting around all day. And I'll tell you why you need to clean up your diet in just a second, like the scientific little evidence stuff. Just a little bit before I end off this video. So for calories, if you want to lose fat, eat one to 200 calories less than your maintenance. You could calculate that at TDEE calculator. Uh, just type that in on Google and you can find your calories that you need for the day. Go 100, 100 to 200 less than that and you'll start losing fat pretty fast. C coupled with activity, of course. So, let's get into the science of calories and what do you need to be eating for the majority or like how you should split up your calories. I'd say 30% of your calories should be in fat, 40% should be in carbs, and 30% should be in protein. Maybe a little bit less for protein and you could up the carbs because carbs are really important. <laughs> and fats are too, but 
the amount we consume the unhealthy fats, like healthy fats are like avocados. Healthy fats are like olive oil and stuff like that. Canola oil is typically not that good. Uh, cheese fat isn't the best, but it's like, it's okay. Uh, animal fat's okay. It's just, you gotta stay away from that fast food. They just add it. They just add fat. They fry stuff. You gotta stay away from the fried stuff. You could have it every once in a while, of course. But I would stay away for it, from it for the majority of your dieting days. And this is the thing. You should make it a lifestyle. And before I get into, the, like, the science of the calories, make it a lifestyle. You gotta make it to where you're actually, like, enjoying the foods you eat day to day. You make it feel good every day. You don't dread eating this salad. You make things that you're excited to eat. Like, just find some healthy meals that look good and eat them. All right, now, calories. This is why eating less fat is important. For each gram of fat, it is nine calories. That doesn't seem like a lot until you compare it to carbs and protein which have four calories per gram. And also, protein digests a lot slower, and it takes it actually takes energy to digest protein more than carbs and fats. Fats and carbs, they kind of just absorb pretty easily, like they don't take that much effort to digest, whereas protein does. So that's why it's useful to consume more of it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I know it's a little short video, but I hope you enjoyed the little knowledge bomb I dropped on you and I hope you use it to get absolutely shredded for your New Year's resolutions for right now, whatever. I know it's the not, not the right time of year. It's, it's currently November, but I don't care. We're going to make it eventually. We're all going to make it to whatever goal we have. We just got to stay with it and stay consistent and stay just doing the daily fucking practices. I swear, if you message me and say, hey, bro, I need an accountability partner, I will be on your ass every single day for the rest of, the, rest of time. That is a, that's not a guarantee, but I will be on your ass if you just need an accountability partner for whatever goal. Write down your goal. Say, Parker, keep me accountable. I will 100% do that for you. So, yeah, let me just plug in some of my, my business right now. Any W training dot com or anywhere training any w training dot com or i'll link it in the description whatever website whatever url it is i'm getting that set up today that is my personal training website and my coaching website where i can show you the ins and outs of fitness and uh we can we can become like best friends to be honest and i'll i'll help you through everything i'll show you everything and you will get the body of your dreams you will attract that spicy senorita across the gym you will make your friends and family proud people will come up to you asking for advice so yeah let's get after it let's uh have a great day see you guys